It's Monday. Welcome back. Just wanted to show you guys a little bit about what our morning's like. I uh, make our breakfast. So today we are having turkey, uh, peppers, onions, and some Brussels sprouts. Both of us have our own pan. So we both get the same, uh, get the nutrients that we need. Obviously I eat more than Tanya does. And then I also have all these out because I prepare our lunches. So that's what lunch is. We're having some green beans, some chicken and some rice, and then we'll have pork chops for dinner. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of what Monday looks like for us. And it's a little bit of a different Monday because Tanya's getting ready to do a woman's experience this weekend, kind of a woman's retreat thing. And so it's kind of slow for us. This morning we woke up at 6.30, normally we wake up at 4.30. And so this week's just kind of like getting her prepped and ready to go. She leaves Thursday, um, don't want to beat her up too bad in the gym. And then obviously on Sunday we start training to be on stage. So this is kind of like the week building up to the week of the whole thing getting started. So. We'll take you with us. What you up to? I'm about to take some supplements. For what? <clears throat> For my gut health, um, I have a bacteria in my gut that my body doesn't respond very well to. Um, on top of three other bacteria that my body has been fighting. Um, which has caused me a lot of pain over the past and I think has caused a lot of my endometriosis. Um, so I have linked up with a doctor out of Colorado, Dr. Jacqueline Behrens, and she had me take a food allergy test, which came back showing that I was, my body is reactive to 18 different foods, which some of those are foods that I ate on a normal basis. So that was interesting. Um, but then I also took a stool test, which discovered that I had a bacteria in my gut called SIBO. So um, basically it's like, if you eat a lot of carbs or sugary things, it will actually feed it, um, which causes the excessive bloating that I have dealt with um, on top of three other bacteria. So to help with that, I am taking nine different supplements um, that are going to help kill the bad bacteria and help me start repairing my gut health so I can feel normal because I don't know what that feels like. Um, they're not the best tasting. They are pretty gross, but whatever I have to do for my health, I just swallow the the taste of it put a smile on my face because I know that what I am doing is going to help me um, so it's quite a process because every morning I have to do this like five times wait one two three four yeah five times a day um, only twice do I have to do the extent of what I'm doing right now which is I take like eight of the nine supplements so I mix them with some aloe vera juice and it kind of helps take some of the bitter taste away. But also the aloe vera is supposed to help um, soothe your gut. So that way just make you feel better. So those are some liquid ones that I have to take. And then I have to take several different pills. Um, at first this was very overwhelming because it was just like, it seemed like a lot. But now I pretty much have it down that it goes a little bit faster. So these are all that I have to take for my actual gut health. And then there's a couple extras that I'm taking. Um, I think Dustin mentioned I go on a women's experience this weekend. So there's a few extra things that I have to take for that to prepare my body for whatever I'm up against. So, 
Just put a handful of pills <laughs> and then gonna sheet it down. And then it always helps to have something nearby to wash it down. Just like I said, it's not my favorite. <laughs> so as I start to wind down for the evening, one of the things that I do before I go to bed is a magnesium foot soak. Um, so this is something that I have incorporated um, just recently I will be going on a woman's experience this weekend and one of the things that we have to do is make sure that we have enough adrenal support and so one of the things that we are required to do is to use this um, undiluted magnesium and I soak it in about a quarter of a cup into some water and soak my feet for about 45 minutes every night so before I mentioned, why do I need a stainless steel pan? And that is the reason why, is because that is what I do my soak in. Um, usually I've been doing it in the bathroom sink. Um, it was just easier that way and I would sit there and you know, do work of some sort while I soaked my feet. But going on this experience, this is something that I will have to keep up with while I am there. So I got the stainless steel dish to soak my feet in while I am at this retreat. And um, this is just one of the things that I have incorporated. And it's kind of nice. It gives me a little bit of time to myself to think and um, just kind of dive into what I need to. And so I've been really enjoying it, but this is just part of my routine and kind of what I've been doing to help get my health in check. So that's all I have for you guys tonight and we will see you tomorrow.